to Soul Via Soul, the podcast where we embark on a journey of self-love and true wellness. I'm your host, Jada, and I'm absolutely delighted to have you here with me as we dive into all things mind, body, and soul. Now, what do you say we get this thing started? Let's dive in. So this is one of my favorite topics of discussion, and it is the top mental health supplements I take and that I recommend. This is near and dear to me for many reasons, but as a holistic health provider, this is something that I talk about pretty much every day with patients that come to see me and with within the Solvia Soul Online Wellness company because it's confusing, number one, and they actually work, number two. So let's demystify what to take. Let's tease apart the noise from the science and let's get on the business of feeling better. So These supplements are not only supplements I take, but these are supplements I recommend. And this is backed by science. And these supplements are known to help with mental well-being, but they also improve brain health. And for a hot second, let's just talk about the fact that there's still a little bit of a stigma with mental health and people feeling the need to reach out to get help. And that's too bad. But if we were to maybe repackage that and talk about it as brain health, I think we might get a little more traction. So we're going to combine that for this podcast. And it is discussing these mental health supplements, not only as a tool for helping mental health ailments like anxiety, depression, et cetera, but also from the framework of brain health, because our brain is an organ. And just like any other organ in our body, it likes to have certain things to do its best. It's like putting oil in an engine and it helps it run better. So there are certain key ingredients that are going to help our brain run better. And when our brain works better, then we feel better. Again, body, mind, and soul, our brain is an organ. It's attached to our body. So if we're going to actually enhance our mental health and our brain health, we have to see it as an organ that needs certain key nutrients. And guess how it's going to get those nutrients? Well, it's going to go through the gut. And so taking supplements, number one, is the route in which we're going to get these nutrients to our brain. But number two, 95% of the neurotransmitters our brain actually needs to function in a healthy way are manufactured in our gut, which is a whole nother podcast about the brain gut connection. But for today's chat, we're just going to talk about the supplements that are shown to help improve mental health and brain health. So first up, omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids, particular the EPA and DHA, which are often combined in a omega-3 fatty acid supplement, are essential fats that are found in high concentration in the brain. Our, Our entire nervous system is coated in fat. Therefore, it would make sense that we would need to have a lot of healthy fat in our diet. So these omega-3 fatty acids play a crucial role in brain function and development. Omega-3 supplements are commonly derived from fish oil or algae. Some research suggests that omega-3 fatty acids may support cognitive function, mood regulation, and reduce the risk of certain mental health conditions. I can tell you that when people come to see me, Not only do I recommend this, I take this and I do have resources and tools in my, uh, at my website and also, uh, have an Amazon storefront that you can get to if you follow me on Instagram 
or Facebook, there are links to my resources. These are the resources that have been researched and in my opinion, are some of the best out there. Now, some people may say, well, Jada, I don't want to take a fish oil, but algae is a source of omega-3. So you can get omega-3 from a non-fish source. You just have to look for it, but you can find it. Another great high omega-3 food, obviously, are going to be the fatty fishes and nuts like walnuts. And the canned fishies are actually what I recommend and have and encourage people to eat because the bigger the fish, the bigger the toxins and the smaller the fish, the less chance you're going to have some of those toxins that we worry about when we are consuming lots of fish, namely mercury. So having small canned fishes like sardines and uh, kippers and the like are going to be a great little source of high protein and excellent source of those omega-3 fatty acids. Number two, vitamin B complex. Now the B vitamins are important for a lot of functions in the body, not just our brain health. So these include B6, B9, which is folate, and B12. And those are essential for brain health and function. They are involved in the production of neurotransmitters such as serotonin and dopamine, where they play a role in mood regulation. Adequate levels of B vitamins are important for maintaining cognitive function and reducing the risk of depression and age-related cognitive decline. Now, I actually like to use a liquid B complex, specifically because B12 is not terribly bioavailable when we take it in pill form. So I use a liquid uh, B complex and uh, that gives me a little bit more bioavailability when it comes to absorbing the B12, which is really helpful for energy and motivation. All right, up next is magnesium. Now there's a lot of controversy about magnesium and it's simply because there's a lot of different forms of magnesium. Some of the common forms are magnesium citrate, magnesium glycinate, magnesium taurate, magnesium l 3 8 Now I just named like three or four. You have to know that magnesium is... No, first of all, the fourth most needed element in the body. So supplementing magnesium is really important. Most of us are probably walking around with low levels of magnesium, number one. Number two, there's so many forms of magnesium. Which one do you take? A lot of magnesium forms are going to work on the GI side of things. Citrate specifically is going to help with constipation. So if that's something you struggle with, adding a little magnesium citrate can help with that. There's magnesium malate and taurate, which are also not terribly bioavailable, but they're going to help with bone health and a little bit of GI issues as well. The two forms that I recommend and I take are magnesium l 3 8 and magnesium glycinate. Magnesium L3 and 8 specifically because it crosses the blood brain barrier. But both of these forms, glycinate and taurate, or sorry, L3 and 8 are specifically formulated to help reduce anxiety, calm the mind, and help with sleep. So for people who struggle a lot with sleep and anxiety, taking these two forms of magnesium can be very helpful. So magnesium at night is absolutely something I do not miss. Next up is vitamin D. There's been a lot of information recently in the news about vitamin D. This is not something we used to routinely check for and it's becoming a lot more commonplace. And what we discovered is that when we actually check for it, everybody was low and it's crucial for mood and helping with depression and anxiety. Now, vitamin D is often called like the sunshine vitamin because we get it from the sun. And as we've become more and more um, 
disconnected from our outer world, we spend less time outdoors, especially children, we are seeing this chronic vitamin D shortage in our bodies. So this supplement is, or this vitamin rather, is so important for mood regulation. It is involved in the synthesis of neurotransmitters and has anti-inflammatory properties. Low levels of vitamin D have been associated with an increased risk of depression and other mental health conditions. So in general, we want to get our vitamin D from the sun, but that's not always possible. And depending on where you live in the country, you may not have a lot of access to the sun. So supplementing it does become something that really I do recommend. And last, but certainly not least, are probiotics. Now, probiotics and prebiotics are two different kinds of, well, biotics. So let's talk about the difference. A probiotic is a beneficial bacteria or a group of beneficial bacteria that promote a healthy gut microbiome. A microbiome is just a fancy word for all the different bacteria, yeast, and, and um fungus actually that colonize our gut and create a diverse set of organisms. Sounds kind of icky, but it's important for balanced wellness. So emerging research suggests that there is a strong connection between gut health and mental health. Having a diverse, rich gut full of a healthy microbiome is going to promote the gut brain connection and enhances the production of serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine, which are actually made by the bacteria in your gut. Probiotic supplements can help support a healthy gut brain axis and improve mood and overall mental well being. But just like I would prefer you get your nutrients from food, same goes for probiotics. Yes, there are probiotics you can purchase. I'm sure they have some merit, but here's what I would tell you. I would encourage you to get your probiotics from food, from a natural food source. And here are some common ways to do that. Kombucha. I like to make my own kombucha, which grosses everyone out in the family, but me, I think it's fascinating. So kombucha, uh, cultured dairy, like yogurt, kimchi, tempeh, um, sauerkraut, pickles. Anything that's fermented is going to have probiotics in there. You can pickle your own vegetables and create a fermented product that you can eat at home. So in general, I would encourage you to eat your probiotics rather than take a probiotic. But a probiotic isn't going to do you a whole lot of good if you don't have the prebiotic. So a prebiotic or prebiotics are indigestible fibers that actually feed the probiotics. So if we think of the probiotics as um, the army in your gut that's gonna go to work and battle for your strong mental and physical health, the prebiotic is actually the food that feeds the army. So if we want a strong army, we gotta feed them. And the prebiotics feeds the probiotics. And the prebiotics you're going to get from food. And there's going to be things like flaxseed, chia seeds, oatmeal, and even just leafy greens and fruits and vegetables are going to be loaded with fiber. Fiber is what the probiotics crave. So you really want to have both. So while it's important to remember that there are certain things I would recommend supplementing. And again, the rundown is omega-3 fatty acid, a vitamin B complex, magnesium, vitamin D, and then of course the pro and prebiotics. You want to try to get as much of these from your food as possible, but it's going to be pretty hard to get the amount of omega-3s we need from our diet because we just don't eat that much fat. And you could eat fat, fatty fish three times a week and you still are going to be low. You're also probably going to be low on your vitamin B, even with a rich diet. So I do recommend supplementing that and absolutely supplement the magnesium and the vitamin D. If your diet is really awful, then maybe you do take a probiotic, but I would tell you that put more effort into having a healthy diet than running out and getting an expensive probiotic. 
So these are the supplements I take. These are the supplements I recommend. And if you're looking for specifics and dosing and brands that I recommend, head to the website, head to the resources tab, go to Instagram, check out the bio, go to my Amazon storefront. I have lots of supplements. All the ones that I take are on that page, plus some other ones sprinkled in that can help with certain specific things like sleep and stress and other um, wellness supplements that I also have used and recommend. So I hope that's helpful. I hope it demystifies a little bit about what supplement should I take? So from a mental health standpoint, from a brain health standpoint, these are the ones that are going to move the dial in your life for improved emotional regulation, mood, and overall brain health, healthy brain, healthy gut, healthy body, healthy life. If you enjoyed this podcast, then I have some great news for you. First, like and subscribe to stay up to date with new episodes on all things wellness to help you connect back to you for healing and wellness in body, mind, and soul. Secondly, consider joining the coolest membership around called the VIA Collective to enhance your personal wellness journey, unlike any other program out there. As a medical and mental health professional, this membership is jam-packed with tools, resources, mini courses, workshops, guided meditations, and guided journal exercises, as well as exclusive pricing on all my courses and includes optional monthly one-on-one -on -one individual and group coaching, coaching sessions on all things wellness. It's like having a medical professional and mental health professional on call and tucked in your back pocket to help you reconnect to you and come home to living your best life. Go to the link in the show notes and join the VIA Collective today and elevate your mental and physical health. The best version of you is waiting. <music>